It's a blessing of another brand new day to you, our viewers out there. Welcome is your favorite program in His presence. A program that talks about the Word of God and how we can apply the Word of God into our lives so we can become a transformed, changed person from the old ways of life into the newness of life in Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall all rejoice and be glad in it. And it's of the mercies of the Lord that the Lord has kept you and myself to witness another brand new day. We need to give all the praises, all the honor, all the adoration back unto God because He deserves our praise. The Bible, according to Psalm 16, verse 11, says, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And as is right, and their pleasures forevermore. I'm your host for today. I'm Akekunle Akela. And the topic I have before you on this glorious day is defending his name. Defending his name. Joining us to discuss on our topic on this day is Reverend Matthew Shoguru of the Deliverance Gospel Mission International in Vrenikin, South Africa. He's here to discuss with us on this day. So it is another great privilege again for us to have you to come and discuss with us on this day. We bless the Lord. Good morning, viewers, and the grace of God be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have a very powerful topic today and we'll go straight into our topic for today, which is defending his name. Defending his name. God does not give men titles, but God gives names. God was speaking to Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12, when he told him to get out of his father's house, out of his kindred, out of his people, to the place that he will show him. He now said, he will make his name great. Now, name is so powerful and so important because name is very prophetic. Name actually you know, speaks of a lot of things. And that is why name to God is very, very important. At first in the scriptures, we see God revealing himself through his names. And he revealed through so many names because each name was an expression of an ability or capability of God in a particular dimension. That's why you have Jehovah Jireh, you have Jehovah Rapha. Now, all these names are expressions of his almightiness and the area he chose to reveal because God can not be recognized. God can only be revealed to us. You can't just so on the street and say, no, this is God. Because he is a spirit. God is not a man. Now, when we talk about defending his name, God so much loves his name that when he was speaking to Moses, Moses asked him, if I get to the people, what do I tell them? Who do I say? Send me, said, I am that I am. Tell them the God of their father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, and God would do anything to defend his name. That was why he said, he said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. God's name expresses God's power. God's name, God will do everything to defend his name. Let's let's say the scripture. That book of Psalm. Hmm. Psalm 106, verse, 106. verse 7 to 9. Yeah. The Bible says, Our fathers understood not thy wonders in yeah. Egypt. Yeah. They remembered not the multitude mm. of thy mercies, yeah. but provoked him at the sea, mm. even at the Red Sea. Mm. Verse 8 says, nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. He saved them mm. for his name's sake. Mm. All right? That he might make his mighty power to be known. <laughs> and verse 9 says, he rebuked the Red Sea also, yeah. and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. Now, mm. God will do anything to defend his name when we are called by his name bible says blessed is he that cometh in the name of the lord mm -hmm. the name of the lord is so important to god because his name endures forever mm -hmm. scripture told us let's see just a few more uh psalm 113 verse 2 113 verse 2 psalm 113 Verse two, and verse, verse two. three, yeah. The Bible says, mm. blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore. Yes. From the rising of the sun mm. unto the going down of, of the, the same, same yeah. the Lord's name is to be praised. Is to be praised. 
His name is to be praised. Because why? His name is powerful. His name is mighty. His name is awesome. His name is an expression of himself. All right? Now, it said in, verse, in chapter 115 of the same book of Psalm, verse number 1, yeah, can we just read Psalm 115 verse 1. The Bible says, Not unto us, yeah. O Lord, not mm. unto us, but unto thy name give glory. Now, for, yes. He said, For thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Now, he said, Not unto us, but unto your name give glory. God will always do what we bring glory to his name. And when God does these things, his name, because the way God wants things to be that his name should be on everyone like a mark. His name should be on everything that men will praise his name. Now, name can endure like people who have gotten good names before they died. Even after they are gone, their names are still making waves and their names are opening doors for their children. All right? So that today we will be referring to, oh, this person, the son of death, that one. The person is gone, but his name that he has made, there are two kinds of name. In fact, three. The name given to us by our parent. Either it's a prophetic name or a revealed name, like the name of Jesus Christ was told by an angel. An angel told Mary, his name shall be called. Isaiah said, his name shall be called. Now, that's a name given. The second one, which is very, very important, is the name that we made by what we did by what we allow, by what we gave ourselves to. And that name is now what eventually makes us. And that's what we will forever be seen as. It becomes a status. When our name has become such a great name, it becomes a status. And then the third kind of name is the name that, apart from the one you made and the one that was given to you, you can actually also read or study, or do something to make another name. Now, that, I said three. The first one, our parent gave us. The second one, our attitude, our fruit. He said, by their fruit, you shall know them. What we choose to be, by virtue of what we're exposed to. If you choose to be, Bible says, the disciples were called Christians at Antioch. So the name Christian was not given to us by God, but by those who observed and said, this one's. By what we can see on them, this is who they are. So by their attitude, by their character, they made that name. But the other one, you can read for it. And then it becomes a reputation also. So God will always defend his name because his name expresses his almightiness, his ability, his capability. And he will defend that name because that name is to endure forever. Hmm, hallelujah, that's so powerful and so profound. We celebrate God in your life. And so, you also, let's go into our first music video. We'll be back with more for you. Still on our topic today, defending his name. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. In your presence, that's where I belong. In your He will defend that name and because of that name there's no limit to what he can do for you welcome back from that first music video and if you're just joining us you're tuning into his presence on our topic today defending his name sir before we went on the previous break you actually laid a foundation as to defending his name you said god's name is an expression of his almightiness, his ability, and his capability. And we also went into our Bible reading, which is in Psalm 106, verse 7 to 9. Now to go into the open heavens written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, he wrote, The Bible declares that our God is a very present help in time of trouble. That's according to Psalm 46 and verse 1. This means that he is ever present or always ready to help in time of trouble. There are several reasons why God makes his people available to a person. Understanding these reasons and applying them to your life will go a long way in helping you experience as an ever-present help. 
One of those reasons is to fulfill his promise. God is very committed to his promises. Hence, in Psalm 89 and verse 34 says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the things that has gone out of my lips. If he has proposed to help you, he will not change his mind midway. Mm -hmm. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. And he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, or shall he not make it good? God's word has integrity. He regards his word above his name. That's according to Psalm 138 and verse 2. Mm. Every promise he has made to you shall be fulfilled speedily. God cannot violate his word. Mm. So you can be sure that he will keep his promise to yeah. help you. That is it. You know, there are some brand names mm. that when we see them, mm. we don't mind how much it will cost to have them. Mm. Because we are so sure of the efficacy of their product the enduring power and the, the fact that whatever this company produces, you can be sure that it is quality. Mm -hmm. God is more than that. Mm -hmm. If men has made such names by their product, that their product is marketable anywhere, others will complain they are not making it because why they do have integrity. God has integrity. And so he will always defend his name. He's so wonderful a God that if he has said it, he meant it because he will never say what he doesn't mean. And God does not joke with his word. It has never been written that, and God said this unto this one, and God said, I was joking, because his words are yea and amen. So that is why he said, the righteous run into his name, and they are saved, because what can save the righteous is in his name. Now, the name has so many weapons. So the name can be used for so many things. That was why Jesus Christ said, as many as believe on me. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Now, something happened in Acts 19, that the seven sons of Scepha came against one man. And they told that demon that was inside that man, and they said, in the name of Jesus that Paul preached, all right, you get out. Jesus is not here, but the demon said, we know him. So when you mention his name, I don't mean you have anything to do with him. We will have listened to you if you came in his name. But you don't have credentials. Mm -hmm. He's got credentials. We know Jesus. We know Paul. Mm -hmm. So we don't know you. Who are you? You have no spiritual identity. And when you don't have spiritual identity, you don't have authority. So in our said, the demons came against them, tore their clothes, wounded them, and cast them out naked. Now what I would say, the name of the Lord is very powerful. Jesus was faced with a situation when he saw that he was going to face the cross. He saw it from afar as a prophet. He saw it from afar as somebody who knows what is next in the agenda of God. Then he went to God. He said, I was so sorrowful. And he said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass me by. I began to ask the Holy Spirit, why would Jesus Christ, who knew about this matter before he left heaven, came down for this purpose? He has said, he said, oh, Father, if it's possible, send me from this hour. Later I said, no, for this hour I came. No, lo, I come in the volume of books to do thy will, O Lord. Now, the same person now is saying, Father, take this cup away from me. Is he confused or something? No, he wasn't confused. The Holy Ghost told me. He said, he was looking at the situation that's going to happen to him. Because it is written according to Galatians 3, verse 13, that Christ has redeemed us when he finished the work from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us because it is written. Curse is everyone that hung on the tree. Then Jesus Christ was looking at his name. His concern was his name. Because if he's hung on that cross, he will be called cursed. His family members will be referred to as cursed people. Because when that happened in Israel, the family has no good name anymore. And God saw that that was his concern. God kept quiet because God had a plan. And when he said, Father, well, not my will, but your will be done. He went ahead, he did it very painful. You know, he went through the process. He died. He was buried. When he resurrected, the father was so happy with him. And the Bible now said... God now highly exalted him and gave him a name. That was a trouble. Mm. That was why he wanted mm. to say, no, I can't do this thing. Because I'm going to have a bad name. Mm. He was particular by his name. And God had a plan for his name. And God now gave him a name above every other name. That are the name of Jesus, every nation of things in heaven. Mm. 
First John 5 and 7 said there are three that bear the cause in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and the three are one. So even in heaven, you can't cast out demons in the name of God. Mm. Tell that demon in the name of the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, he will say you are singing. And they will be dancing. But when you say the name of Jesus, you set everything on fire. Mm. And then they are cast out. Why? Because that name has attained something. Mm. Someone made the name great by what he offered, mm. by what he sacrificed. Mm. So when people put in so much into their journey, into their lifestyle, into their character, when they choose to be disciplined for a purpose to defend their name. If man can do that, mm. God can do much more. So for the name of the Lord, God can do anything. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. There's nothing as strong as that tower. He said, the righteous run into it and they are saved. And today, what do we have? The Bible said, there's no other name that is given unto men under heaven that man should be saved. The only saving name is the name of Jesus. And so today, if you can accept that name into your life, it will defend that name. And because of that name, there's no limit to what it can do for you because it loves you. And it will always defend his name. If you come in his name, if you come to his name, if you call upon his name, it will answer you. Amen, amen in Jesus' mind. And thank you very much. That's so powerful and so profound. And so if you also let's continue to our next break, which will be so our Bible reading in one year. We'll be back with more for you. Still on our topic today, defending his name. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. In your presence, that's where I belong. In your His name is already on you because when you receive him, to as many as receive him, he gave power. Welcome back from that Bible reading in one and if you just joining us, you're tuning into his presence on our topic today, defending his name. And with us in the studio on this day is Reverend Marty Sugar of Deliverance Gospel Mission International in Vernikin, in South Africa. To continue in the Hope and Heavens written by our father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboy, he wrote, Another reason why God reaches out to help a man is for the sake of his name. If you genuinely belong to God, it will help you because you bear his name and are called by his name in this world. That's according to Acts of Apostles chapter 15 and verse 17. No wonder in Psalm 106 verse 8, the Bible says, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. That means his intervention goes beyond your asking. It will intervene to defend his name and show his power. At certain bus stop in life, some people will challenge you by asking, where is your God? Mm. Some may even say, if your God is truly alive, he should have delivered you by now. If you are in such a situation, take heart and be unmovable. In Daniel chapter 3, verse 14 to 29, King Nebuchadnezzar initially asked the three Hebrew children, who is that God that will deliver you out of my hands? However, by the time God was true with him, he publicly confessed that there was no God like their God. Is your child in a situation that appears to be hopeless? Is your business or career going through some impossible storms? God will step into your situation and calm the storms. The Lord is speaking peace to every impossible situation you are up against right now it will surely bring you out of the storm not just because of you but because of his name that you bear in that situation you are going through the lord will defend his name and he will not put you to shame it will demonstrate his power just to give you the last laugh in jesus name amen mm. hallelujah elijah the man of god became this great man of god that everybody revered respect because he defended the name of his God and God will do anything through whosoever is ready and willing to stand in the name of the Lord against whatever that is against the name of the Lord he told them you take build an altar for your God and call the name of your gods and let the God that answer by fire be God indeed and then when they couldn't when their God disappeared and could not show up the Bible said he now said well now let me build an altar for the Lord. He did. 
and Bob said he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And when he did that, he called upon the name of the Lord. And the Lord showed up. Because why? God would do anything to defend his name. Now, if you believe on the Lord Jesus, and you accept him as your Lord and Savior, and you commit yourself to him, and his name is already on you, because when you receive him, to as many as receive him, he gave power to become sons of God. Now, now that you are a son of God, there are things that God expects you to live for and live by. There are things that God expects you to to defend his name doing your righteousness you're doing what is right every day speaking what is right every day and thinking what is right actually reveals you as a child of god and when you do what is right according to that name that you are now under it makes you you know to defend that name rightly whose name are you defending mm. Are you trying to defend yourself or defend the name of the Lord? For the name of God, what have you decided not to do because of him? What have you decided to say, okay, you can punish me for that, but, but for the name of the Lord, I will not change my mind. Everyone that stood for God, God stood for them. Everyone that defended the name of the Lord and their faith, they were never disappointed. If you can stand in the name of the Lord and defend the name of the Lord in your life, it will be awesome what God will do for you. Fire came from heaven always because a man stood for the name of the Lord is God. Elijah, when they came against him again, and they sent 51 soldiers to him, he said, if I be a man of God, let fire come from heaven. Mm -hmm. And God never will tell the fire from him because he was defending the name of the Lord. If you stand in the name of the Lord, God will defend his name over your case, over your situation, and he will prove that you are his own. He always proved it. He proved it to Moses, proved it in the love of Elijah, that a day... They are testimonies because of the name of the Lord. So today, accept him in your life. Believe on his name. Believe on his word. Be proud of that name. Be proud to call that name. Because he said, call upon me, I will answer you. And I will show you great amount of things you don't know. That name is the only name under heaven that can give salvation. That can help from any situation. So as you call on that name today, that name will answer for you. And your lives will never remain the same again. Amen, amen, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much, that's so powerful and so profound. And to our viewers out there, let's continue on to our next break, which will be used for our hymn. We'll be singing in 12. And as soon as we come back, we'll come back with the memory verse for you. Still on our topic today, defending his name. Please stay with us, we'll be right back. In your presence, that's where I belong. In your that name must not be run into disrepute. Welcome back from that human if you just joining us, you're tuning into his presence on our topic today, the failing is name. And with us on this is Reverend Marty Shogun of Deliverance Gospel Mission International in Verenikin, South Africa. And this is the time of the program where we discuss our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 106 and verse 8. Psalm 106, verse 8. The Bible says, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He saved them. For his name's sake. If you call on his name, even if you don't qualify, for his name's sake that you believe, it will save you. Because that name must not be run into disrepute. Mm. Jeremiah was speaking in Jeremiah 17, verse 14. He said there, he said, Lord, save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise. Now he now said in verse 15, he said, they have asked me, where is now the word of the Lord? Mm. Then he asked the Lord, he said, let it come now. And it came now for him. Now the truth is, God will save you because of his name. He mm. will never allow his name to go into disrepute. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will answer you just for his name. There are so many meetings that some people do attend and they said, oh, they never even had faith. But for the name of the Lord, God answered them. There are so many programs that people have attended and when they call upon his name, imagine that woman who was a Samaritan and she came to Jesus Christ and was asking Jesus Christ to heal a daughter. And Jesus Christ said, no, you're a dog. 
We don't give the children's meat to dog. He said, but then the dog is not an outside dog. It's an inside dog. It, it waits under the table to eat the crumbs that falls down. And if crumbs can heal, what do you think the bread will do? So if just crumbs can heal, what do you think bread will do? Now, if you can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and then you call upon his name, for his name's sake. Now, you must have confidence in that name because you are blessed for coming in his name and you have access to what his name has given to you because now you are a son of God. Just like any country of the world, if a son or daughter of the president goes in the name of the president to any office, he or she, they are respected and whatever they ask for because of their father, they will do it. He said, whatsoever you ask the father in my name, he shall do it for you. I want to implore you this morning that you will believe on the Lord Jesus and believe on his name and call upon his name and follow the one that has made a good name for all of us. That even that name has a place with God. That if you come to God in the name of Jesus, God will answer you because of Jesus, not because of you. And so you need to know how much is with the Father. Bible says is at the right hand of the Father, defending that name on your behalf. That whatever you tell the Father is beside the Father and say, yes, that was my son too. You should answer him. And so you need to be confident in that one thing. That Jesus is alive and beside the Father, defending his name and his word on your behalf. So whatever you ask the Father in his name, the Father will do it because of the Son who has made the name for himself. And so today, it's time for you to make the right choice in your life that you will walk with what works. You will be able to belong to the family that has a name both in heaven and on earth. And because of the owner of that name which you now belong to, for his name's sake, because you are called by his name, he will never disappoint you. As you call upon his name, he will answer you. His father will answer you. Whatever he has power over. And don't forget, by him were all things created. And for him. All right? So his name is to be respected by everything he has made. For they know him that they belong to him. They are all products from him. So they will answer to his name. They will respect his name from your mouth. Today, I believe that your decision will change your position. If you can decide in your heart today to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. To belong to that great one that has made a great name. And that name is forever. That name is eternal. That name endures. That name can attend to you anywhere, anytime, and on any situation. There's no situation that that name cannot handle. And so as you accept him today, it will change your life. Will you pray this prayer with me? Can you say, Lord Jesus, I thank you because you love me. I need your help. I believe on your name. I believe on your power. I believe on your word. And today I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. And I choose to serve you and to follow you all the days of my life. No turning back. Thank you for receiving me and for forgiving me in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you in the name of the one that is above every other name. That whatever has been harassing you, embarrassing you, limiting you, chaining you down. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are released out of them. And you are liberated. You are set free. Receive your freedom and enjoy your freedom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, thank you very much. And to our viewers, Father, let's continue on to our next week, which will be used to our prophecy declaration with our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you, Lord. Let things get better. From this moment onward, in our nation, let things get better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, we are your children. We have no other help but you. And we are saying tonight, Lord, 
we are in one accord as we say no more killing of innocent people <laughs> father we say no more kidnapping <laughs> father your children are in one accord and say please fight for us <laughs> many of these perpetrators of evil we don't even know where they are but you can see them you know their location set them on fire <laughs> so that they will repent so that they will be saved from now on don't let them know any rest <laughs> and father we thank you for warning us in advance that things will get worse before they get better but we your children are saying daddy enough is enough from now on let things get better We are crying to you by faith tonight to say in this nation there will no longer be fuel scarcity. No more hunger. No more pain. No more tragedies. We say, Lord, beginning from now, let things get better. Let them get better speedily. Let them get better continuously. Help us, O oh Lord. And take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Welcome back from that prophecy declaration. I believe you've claimed every prophecy that has gone forth onto you. So before we let you go, finally, this episode will be your final thoughts to our viewers on this topic. The fainting is name. The fainting is name. Now he has made the name to make us. Because true is light. We see the light. True is name. We have a name. Through what he has done, we have a place with God. We have a fellowship with God. So today, to be called a son of God is a great thing. So do not lose that name. For that name connects you to a lot of things. In the book of Acts 20 verse 32, he said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you inheritances among those who are sanctified. The word of God has come forth to you. You have received his name. Believe on that name. Keep that name. Walk on that name. Call upon that name. It will never disappoint you. Right in the belly of the fish, Jonah called. And he answered because there's no limitation to what that name can do for you and where that name can reach you. God bless you. Amen, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you very much. I will celebrate God in your life and as our prayers that God will continue to increase on our sides in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And above all, thank you for making time to be with us on this day. It's a privilege. Amen. And to our viewers, already, I believe we've learned so many things on our topic today. Defending his name. The first thing we need to understand according to what Reverend Matthew Shogun actually said is that the first thing is the call to salvation. After accepting Jesus, then you call on his name, then you now see God defending his name. And he said God's name is an expression of his almightiness, his ability, and his capability. We really want to appreciate you for the time you spent to watch this program. I believe you'll be blessed in the mighty way. Perhaps you have any comment you want to leave with us, you can do that on our Facebook page. That's on his presence, bracket R T M bracket. You have a mail you want to leave with us, you can do that on in his presence at Redemption TM.tv. I use this time out to say a very big thank you to our sponsors out there. That's McLeod G Farms, 1 John 5 4, House on the Rock in Johannesburg, South Africa, and of course the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the Master's Place. I leave you with our last music video, so let's stay tuned in God's presence. God bless you.